How close are we to the land hour limit and what it means for investors? In today's rapidly advancing technological landscape, the efficiency of our devices, especially computers, is paramount. The land hour limit is a concept that gives us a peek into the fundamental energy requirements of computing. Proposed by Rolf Landauer in 1961, it's an idea that has stood the test of time and remains relevant even as we push the boundaries of what our machines can achieve. What is the land hour limit? At its core, the land hour limit is a simple idea. There's a minimum amount of energy required every time a computer performs a certain type of operation, specifically when it erases a bit of information. In everyday terms, think of it as the energy your computer or smartphone uses when it deletes something, albeit on a much, much smaller scale. Why does it matter? The implications of the land hour limit are vast. Thermal efficiency. Computers generate heat, and the energy they use is directly related to this heat production. The land hour limit tells us that there's a fundamental relationship between the temperature of a computing system and its energy efficiency. The cooler the system, the less energy it needs. The future of tech. As we continue to make our devices smaller and faster, we're getting closer and closer to this limit. This means that there's a baseline energy cost for processing information, regardless of how advanced our gadgets become. What investors need to know. If you're looking to invest in the tech industry, the land hour limit offers some crucial insights. Cooling is key. Since the energy required for computation is tied to temperature, advanced cooling solutions might become the next big thing. Companies that can innovate in this area could be valuable investments. Reaching the limit. As technology continues to advance, we're going to hit the land hour limit eventually. This means there's a ceiling to how efficient our classical computers can become. So, looking at alternative ways of computing, like quantum computers, could be a smart move. Putting it in perspective. Imagine you have a futuristic computer that's operating very close to this land hour limit. If this computer were working in an average room, the minimum energy it would need to erase just a tiny bit of information would be incredibly small, almost unimaginable. Think of it as the energy a flying mosquito uses, but millions of times less. Approaching the land hour limit. The current state of computing. How close are we, with our current technology, to this fundamental boundary? Let's delve into the current state of computing and see where we stand. The evolution of transistors. A good starting point is to look at the transistor, the building block of modern computers. Over the decades, the size of transistors has been shrinking, thanks to Moore's law, which posited that the number of transistors on a chip would double approximately every two years. This miniaturization process has led to more powerful and energy-efficient devices. As transistors get smaller, the energy required for their operation decreases. However, there's a catch. As we approach the atomic scale, quantum effects start to dominate, leading to issues like quantum tunneling, where electrons can leak through barriers. This leakage can increase energy consumption, making it challenging to get closer to the land hour limit. Current energy consumption. Modern transistors, especially those in high-performance computing environments, consume energy several orders of magnitude higher than the land hour limit. To put it in simpler terms, imagine the land hour limit as being like a single grain of sand, representing the absolute least amount of energy a computer operation could possibly use. In comparison, our most advanced modern transistors use energy equivalent to a small handful of sand for each operation. While a grain and a handful might seem relatively close in the grand scheme of a beach, there's still a noticeable difference between them. This difference highlights that, even with our best technology, we're still using more energy than the theoretical minimum suggested by the land hour limit. Limitations of silicon Silicon has been the mainstay material for semiconductor devices. However, as we push silicon transistors to their limits, it's becoming evident that alternative materials or computing paradigms might be necessary to approach the land hour limit. 
materials like graphene and topological insulators, which exhibit unique electronic properties, are being studied as potential successors to silicon. The Rise of Quantum Computing Quantum computing, as previously mentioned, operates on different principles than classical computing. With qubits capable of existing in superpositions of states, quantum computers might sidestep some of the challenges faced by classical computers. However, they come with their own set of energy challenges, and it's still an open question how their energy efficiency compares to the Landauer limit in a direct sense. Innovations in Cooling One way to reduce the energy consumption of computing operations is to lower the temperature at which they operate. Superconducting circuits, which operate at extremely low temperatures, are an example of this approach. While they can achieve very low energy consumption levels, the energy required to maintain such low temperatures is considerable, offsetting some of the benefits. The journey towards the Landauer limit paints a vivid picture of technological evolution. As we edge closer to this theoretical threshold, it becomes evident that the future of computing is not just about speed or miniaturization, but profound energy efficiency. For investors, this presents a dynamic landscape of opportunities. Understanding the nuances of this journey, from the intricacies of shrinking transistors to the promises of quantum computing, equips investors with the foresight to recognize and capitalize on the next wave of innovations. The tech industry's race to approach, and perhaps one day surpass, the Landauer limit is a testament to human ingenuity and persistence. It underscores the value of investing not just in companies, but in visions of a more efficient, sustainable future. In the grand scheme of technology investments, staying informed about such foundational concepts as the Landauer limit provides a competitive edge. It's a compass pointing towards where the industry is headed, helping investors navigate the vast ocean of tech opportunities with clarity and confidence. If you enjoy our videos, we'd appreciate it if you could like, subscribe, or share. Thank you.